as this rest continues, the body then can release or get permission to evacuate what should never have been there. It's somewhat similar to, uh, to the evacuation of a meal that has never been digested. At some point, you can do various things to <laughs> help the evacuation of that uh, material that is not doing you any good, but is doing you a lot of harm, and it's making life extremely uncomfortable and uh, preventing you from receiving healthy nourishment. So everything about this process is desirable, except the few moments in which you're tasting the, uh, the junk itself in the form of a, of a primitive emotion like fear, panic, grief. Apparently, the memory files these experiences of early childhood exactly as you felt them at that time. Mm. So, so the psyche doesn't want to feel this again, even though now that you're an adult, it would not have the same deleterious effect because now you're older. And so, but because one was so vulnerable at the time, the psyche is afraid to face this again, and one resists it. And I think that's one reason why people resist the invitation to go into deeper silence. So when they begin to come close to the edge of the unknown, they draw back because they're afraid of the body is afraid of feeling something that was so painful it had to repress it into the unconscious when you were a few days or months or weeks old or whatever it was. So one needs to lay aside all, all fear, and this requires a trust in the divine therapy.